go. My, my forehead. Look at it. Oh, God. It doesn't show up on camera, dude. My forehead. I mean, yeah, my forehead shows up on camera. But do you see the other thing? So something happened the other night, and it was actually kind of scary. Um, <laughs> so most of you guys most might know that I, you know, I do a little bit of exercise throughout the week, um, and that involves playing softball. If you know what softball is, if you don't know what softball is, softball is, it is a glorified, lazy way of playing baseball, right? Um, but uh, there's a lot of men out there, a lot of old people, people that just go out there and have fun. And well, the other day in softball. I took don't laugh because it could have been serious I could have like it, it could have been very serious but like don't laugh but then when I'm done like when I'm talking about it don't laugh like and then when I'm done talking about it then you can laugh um, I took a line drive a line drive off the bat straight to the forehead straight to the forehead right at the top of my forehead in the corner there so what I was trying to do was show you like I don't know if it shows on camera but I have like laces, like laces from the ball marked on my forehead and dude, it hit me and I fell on the ground. It was scary. It was very scary. If it would have went down or to the side or to my face, oh, ho, 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 ho. I probably would have been out of commission for a little bit. Anyways, welcome back ladies and gentlemen to another episode of King of Retail. So you got $77,000. I do expect to break the $80,000. Hell, maybe even 90, well, I don't want to get too ahead of myself, but it'd be awesome to kind of break the $90,000 uh, mark today. No, but today we're actually going to break the $80,000 mark today. And we're going to go to our little tiny, tiny, tiny little clothing store, which is actually sitting at almost $12,000 inside of it, which is kind of cool. So the idea of having a medium, uh, medium populated uh, grocery store seems to be a good idea. So that's good to hear, right? Um, and I think we can, uh, you know, for the most part, fund it right now if we wanted to. But um, there's still a lot that needs to be done uh, here. Like we got to figure out storage. Not well, yeah, yeah. We have to figure out storage. We got to figure out minimum storage. We got to figure out what this store wants to try to be and wants to become, right? I don't think this store needs to be big, right? I don't think it needs to be as big as the airport store. Like, okay, I was thinking why I was editing the airport store yesterday. I was thinking, I was like, have you ever walked into an airport and there was a Walmart inside? <laughs> no, dude, you probably haven't. Um, and that's kind of what I'm confused about <laughs> with our store. Because it's like, uh, what? You know, it, it, it it's more or less like, why do we have a giant store in an airport? It doesn't make much sense, but you know, we're doing it regardless. So it is what it is. But when it comes to this store, we need to kind of figure out what's going on here. Uh, don't, don't, don't touch it, Jackson. I got it. I got it, bud. I got it. So storage in itself is, is a lot smaller, right? A lot smaller than the airport store. We could probably even shrink this storage room down a little bit too, because we're only averaging about 220, maybe 300 on a good day on, on units. Now it doesn't mean it doesn't. I don't even want to like sidetrack myself while I'm talking about this, but it doesn't mean this store needs to grow as big as the airport store. And that's something I kind of forget, tend to forget, right? And that even goes for the grocery store in a way. Like the grocery store is pretty big where it's at, but does it need to go any much more bigger? I know yesterday I talked about how I wanted to push back the walls all the way back, but it doesn't need to. Right? It's okay to have a small boutique. It's okay to have a small little cute boutique, right? And that's kind of where we're sitting at right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to push these bad boys back a little bit. I do want to still kind of experiment with a few articles, and that's going to be experimented with the athletic stuff. I do want to do that in a way, kind of like shorts, hell, maybe foot flops. I, I, I'm not really sure. But we definitely do need to get at least two registers into this store. That's why I'm pushing these back right now. We definitely need to get two registers back. Or two registers in, not back, but two registers. Why? Stop it. There we go. Now, the idea of having them back to back is actually a pretty good idea, and it's an idea that has been yelled at me for a while now, and I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna roll with it. I'm gonna roll with it for the most part. So we're gonna go, I think this is black, right? Yeah, black, and then this is that. Okay, cool. Yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll with back to back, and this is something that could be uh, implemented in our airport store too, which a lot of people were like, how come you just don't go back to back? How come you just don't go back to back? Yeah, fair enough, right? Fair enough. 
So there we go. Um, that's been done. So we have two registers, but we don't have two registered people. Uh, filling out this store is a big part. I would say like staffing is a problem here, but actually staffing is one of the best here, um, which is funny because this is the uh, this is the this is the kind of like you know viewers uh, list of people here. Anyways, the parent aisle being here in the front could be an issue, right? Definitely an issue, especially when uh, you have people wanting the pants all the time. So we're gonna put the pants back here. Yeah, we're gonna move them back a bit so that people have a room to walk in. Now it doesn't mean I'm not going to avoid. I'm not going to avoid putting something here because I might put something here after all. Uh, like a shoe, like a round table shoe thing. As they walk in, they're like, oh my god, cool shoes, right? Hey. I don't know. It's an idea. It's an idea. It's going to be a little bit different. This is going to run differently than the other clothing store. And I think that's okay. I think that's the charm of it. I think that's fine. I'm pretty sure you're okay with that. Uh, you got to have a little bit of diversity. Thank you. Switch it up is basically what I'm trying to say. Switch it up and uh, we'll go from there. One thing that's kind of breaking my brain right now is these over here, but this is okay. We'll, we'll, we'll figure this out. So this will go, we'll move this over to the left here. And what we can do is we can kind of experiment more with uh, other casual stuff, I think. I don't think we have like, well, I, I say stuff, but I'm not saying casual stuff. I'm saying like fun and games, maybe fun and games if they have, did you see that? Maybe like fun and game shoes if they have fun and game shoes. Maybe different kind of casual uh, shoes. Uh, maybe fun and game shirts and, and things like that. Um, there's This isn't really much of an organization like we would have at the airport store. And again, that's okay. <laughs> that's all right. This is considered our active wear right here, I guess you could say. And it's back here at the back of the store. Uh, work areas. Work areas is something that we're going to need to kind of figure out here as well. So let's actually go ahead and do that. So we have two salespeople right here. We have Anka, we have uh, Kayla. Anka, we're going to go ahead and do that first. We're going to do, not take a break. We're going to make her a primary uh, sale area. So she's going to be on this side of the store. Two seconds. Right? She's going to be working the front, I think. I'm pretty sure. She'll work on, well, yeah, she'll work on this part of the store. Boom and boom and boom. And her secondary, if there's anything, it'll be this. You know what? Probably cancel that and then do this. I know that looks like a freaking mess. But we have to give her at least a secondary, right? I feel like salespeople do need to have a secondary. I don't think anybody's going to be standing in front of these here places. But at least her primary will be the important ones, right? The important ones first. That might be a too big of a work area, but we're kind of doing this. This is our first time working with a work area on a salesperson. Now for Kayla, her primary area will be basically the opposite side. Hey. Right, they will share a same primary area though. And then uh, she'll go down the, down the ladder here for the most part. Then her secondary area, actually no, her primary area will be the shoes considering this is uh, Anka's secondary. And then her secondary will be here Considering this is uh, Anka's uh, primary. Does that make sense? Then I think that's good. So we'll see how that works out. Hopefully that works out just fine. I don't know. I have no idea. Now we could do restocker, but uh, like, can you actually do marketing work area? You can't. That's funny. We can do restocker work area, but we don't have enough. Uh, we don't have enough uh, restockers in in the store to actually create a work area for them. Uh, we can't just have one person primary to everything. Uh, it just won't work out. So we're gonna need at least two restockers. And we'll and we'll take it, take care of that. Uh, over here, uh, eventually, probably like again, I, I, I want to try to do something with like uh, like swimming trunks. I think that's the thing, right? Hi. Swimming trunks and stuff like that. I, you know, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I want to do. Funny games, you know. That's that's kind of where I'm aiming at. These little freaking Minecraft shirts or something. That's where I'm aiming at. So now we have Jun Lee that came in. So Jun Lee. For the most part, I wish you could copy and paste. Jun Lee will do the same as far as Anka. He will be primary area here, and um, that's pretty much it, right? That's his primary area. His secondary area will go boom, 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 boom. And even like the secondary area is almost like too much, right? Too much. And then Lewis, Lewis, we will do the same thing, but on the opposite end here. They'll both share that primary there. And then you'll go for the L there, and then secondary will go boom. And hell, you might not even need to work on this as it, well. Eh, whatever, we'll do it. Secondary, 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 secondary. There we go. All right. 
so that's something alexander's in um she's actually using the new uh register which is kind of cool now for register people i guess you can like be like this is your primary register this is your secondary register sure um i guess but i'm not really stressing about it here maybe at a bigger store i would be but not, but not here so one thing that oh hi how are you thank you for the thumbs up really appreciate it um one thing i would like to do it's kind of look so this is our salesperson right this is Ron oh no this is our restocker that's ronnie never mind ronnie's the one giving me thumbs up good for her so one thing that we can kind of stay on back right here and take a look is inventory finally so let's go ahead and go back to the back room see how much we actually have back here which is 21 dude i don't know if we're still like trying to like fix ourselves from when we glitched the game out a while ago oh do we have shorts that we need to put out see there you go we need shorts that needs to go out so we yeah look at this 33 th some of these are still glitched from from before yeah th those are a lot so we're still trying to sell those items uh technically so at least we have some shorts for the active wear so that's good so this person has their hand up thank you this would be a primary for lewis where's lewis okay lewis is over here in the secondary this is this is the issue right here right thank you well he got to her he got to her i guess that's what matters um so let's go ahead and put down uh da -da 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 -da. pants 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 uh shorts yeah we're gonna just put down some shorts i i i kind of dig this hanger a lot it, it works i like it so that's what we're using we're gonna put that right there and then we're gonna stick our shorts on there dude and we haven't had shorts uh before this is our first time experimenting with shorts so kind of fun stuff right there we go awesome awesome sauce so there we go uh, but like i was saying i was trying to i was trying to kind of read what we had going on here like what is selling what is not selling and there's still like a lot of inventory stuff that needs to be just sold like it there's that glitch like i said the glitch is still still in our presence in a little bit with uh certain articles so if we come over here and we actually just manually check everything so this hasn't sold anything today um and this i mean honestly like look we haven't even like touched we just throw this stuff out we haven't even touched uh prices yet so this store does need price adjustments unlike the airport store of course so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna drop this down to 23 dollars and then we're gonna drop this down to 23 dollars as well none have been sold today that's an issue that's an issue uh this none have been sold today either uh which used to sell at 38 dollars but now we sell it at 35 dollars yes 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 and you might be thinking well this might be too low but also like we're getting them for a good deal now that we have a good financial manager on board as well so don't forget about that so these minimum storage however this is five that's a five that's a seven honestly five is okay like five is fine unless these things start flying off like hotcakes like i don't know what that expression really entails but until these things start selling like hotcakes that's better that's how you say it um i'm not too worried about having just five in the minimum storage so as you can see that lady just came in and picked up that gray one jesus christ um 32 for this and then she restocked it good uh, again five on this once i start seeing empty racks here then i will make the adjustments for um for what is it for uh for for these for the minimum storage but i don't see empty racks so therefore i'm gonna decrease the price in all of them this person came over here just now on a sale adjustment and she is picking up the black one so now these are starting, i mean as you can see they're starting to sell all of a sudden which is good that's good that's what we wanted uh so we'll kind of step away from that for the time being now casual clothes i'm not sure uh these active shirts i don't think have been touched at all which is an issue yeah they have it nothing has been sold so these are 40 dollars. no i don't think so these are going to be 39 dollars now hey, can you help me? 39 dollars for that and 39 dollars for that and you might be screaming wait 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 minimum storage wait 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 you're absolutely right thank you for pointing that out i really do appreciate that five only um until you know like i said until stuff starts to hit the wall um this has not been adjusted and this has sold none so we need to go hell this is gonna get spicy right because i don't do this usually 1999 oh my god 1999 we'll do that i know i don't do i usually do flat rate prices but it just felt like the time right it felt like the time it felt like the the right shirt to do it on i guess sold one of those today we'll do that five as well 
Uh, these again, uh, these are, are these the same as these? No, they're not. So that's $39. These, honestly, we're going to drop them down to $30. Yeah, that's a big price, but we get them for about 10 bucks. So that's still triple the profit there. Uh, well, I, I don't want to say triple the profit because, you know, there's still more expenses in between and all that. But at least it's three times the price, I guess is what I'm trying to say. There we go. And we'll do that. And we'll do that. And thank you so much. Have a great day. Now, these tend to sell terribly. Or tend to sell good. We're used to sell good. 9, 18, 27. These are already on like a three times uh, scale, but we're going to bump them down a little bit to like a 24, like a little bit below uh, three times scale. And we're going to give those a minimum storage of five. So we're at the point and we're at the, I mean, the store is big enough to kind of look at it and be like, well, we want to sell quantity right now. That's, that's, that's the most important thing right now. Uh, you know, it's, the prices aren't what matter. Again, we gotta remember, like this is a low populated area. It might feel like not, but this is a low populated area. This is nothing. <laughs> this is nothing that um, that you you would think you wouldn't compare it to the airport store, right? You wouldn't even compare it to a freaking medium store. And I've never had a medium store, which you know, again, I I, I can't wait until we do a medium store because that's gonna be a new challenge all in itself that I'm excited for. But there we go. I mean, twenty thousand dollars is pretty good day for that day um what the heck is going on there okay so there we go uh how's our scheduling here i can't remember how our scheduling is here i think it's actually good i think this is like one of our best scheduling uh places here uh Anka, there you go thank you so much for the uh, level up there jun lee how you doing jun lee sell speed appreciate that alexander for the register alexander for the register she needs a freaking course which should should she should be able to do because I read the comments saying that you don't need to add her to... I think I, I interpreted it that way. You don't need to add her to the work schedule. She will take a course on her day off. Look, guys, I'm just getting lost at this point. But it's okay. Uh, I'm going to test it out to see for right now. Kadisha, Kadisha, how you doing, Kadisha? Uh, yep. They, like, a lot of people here need to go on course, which is the idea here. A lot of people need to go on course. Jacqueline, Jacqueline, Jack. Yeah, she definitely needs to go on course. Lewis. Um, there you go. And then that should be it. So what I'm gonna do? This this looks very small. Like I know I know like it is very small. Yeah, because they don't have two registers. They don't have two of each. Uh, Jess apparently. So two, okay, Tuesday we have Kadisha. Now what 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 the hell does Jess do? Jess is this there. Um, and Deshay is just there. So they're actually going to be jumping in to something here. But we still need two more registers to fill out. Uh, so they can be on whatever shift they want to, wh whether it be uh, morning, either A, uh, A shift morning or B shift morning. But then we're going to need like an A shift evening and a B shift evening. Before we jump into that, though, let's actually go ahead and see if we have anybody on the, on the schedule here. So Shalom. F, dude, love your name. Shalom. <laughs> Yo, okay. There we go. So he's a little bit of everything. That's going to be helpful for us. He's a little bit of everything. Uh, but right now, I think we're going to throw him on the register for the time being. We need a register person. We'll need an extra register person. I know we can kind of, you, you just saw, like, we can we can roll just fine with one register for person throughout the day, which is okay. But uh, we want to stride to make things better. Now, what about Spicy? Spicy could be our new, how much did we offer her? $11? She could actually be uh, a new uh, restocker, which... You know what? Get hired. Uh, Kayla Jung. Kayla Jung is incredible. She's incredible across the board, but she costs $24. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't think that's a problem. I don't think that's a problem at all. Uh, I think she can be hired as well. So there we go. I don't think we need to worry about money. Well, I mean, we do need to worry about money, but I mean, hourly wages, I don't think we need to really worry about right now. So there we go. We hired three new people, which is good. We have one unread message, which is a miracle. Uh, Fatba, about my salary. This is going to be like the second time I give you a raise. So it better be worth it. Let's see here. Fabba. Uh, to, not the talent, your freaking forehead. Uh, renegotiate. $14 an hour. Okay, you know what? You deserve a raise. You definitely deserve a raise. $17? $17? Yeah, okay. Great. There we go. Okay, cool. That's all taken care of. So what we're going to do is quickly do our adjustment here. So Kayla Jung, we have the Tuesday shift, which is the B shift right now. Uh, we have one person coming in the morning, uh, one person coming in the evening. We're going to have two people coming in the morning, which Kayla is going to jump on that. So Kayla will be 9 to 15, 9 to 15. And I know I just put that on freaking Monday, dude. But uh, I like to have it all on 
every schedule and then just click the days off just in case if I need to switch people on the fly. So she's going to be doing the Tuesday shift on register. So there we go. We have a morning shift register. And then we can do an evening shift Tuesday register as well, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's Shalom. You know what? We're going to do Shalom. Shalom's going to do the Tuesday evening shift. So bam, 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 and bam. So I did talk about how I was like, oh, you know, in the last episode, I was like, oh, what's the point? Wait, what's what's the point? What's the point of having a staff room? And a good point actually came up. And the point was uh, very simple. Hold on to your staff rooms. Not maybe not all of them, but hold on to your staff rooms just in case if like the next update comes and just bam, just kicks us in the freaking face. I'm sorry if I just scared you in your living room, but look, that's how it happened last time the update came out. It, it, it came in that hot. So there we go. We actually have uh, Kayla, who is going to be on uh, B shift. And I'm not going to write it out like I did last time. I'm just going to go B shift. Because I'll now know what B shift actually stands for. Uh, B, sh <laughs> B shift, um, and then B shift as well. And then this will just me writing this down makes it easier for my head when I need to just send them on course and stuff. Be like, oh yeah, today's this day. Oh yeah, I can send them on course, right? So there we go. There is our B shifts. So tomorrow, Tuesday, those are the people that can go. Other than that, we can send people that need to go to. Um, to to course to go on course so like here we should be able to go on course take her to course now when she updates day off i don't know i don't know it doesn't say she's going on course so i'm not sure i'm gonna play it safe and just be like yeah there there she's on course um and then we'll put her as a shift i spelled that wrong a shift and then let's go ahead and look at Jess. Jess doesn't need to go on course. He's new. Um, I think that's the only person right here for the cash registers that we need to do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So restocking. <clears throat> restocking. Let's get Spicy as part of the restock group here. And I, do I want her there? Yeah. That's where I want her. I want her at the restocking. So restocking, we're actually going to have uh, two people come in in the morning. But Mondays. How are we doing on Mondays and Tuesdays? So Ronnie actually works both Mondays and Tuesdays. So we need to change that right away. So let's get Spicy. He's actually coming in for um for ronnie so that she can go onto a dedicated shift so let's get spicy is going to be on the tuesday shift so we're going to go bam 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 it doesn't help us in the fact that um it doesn't help us at all when it comes to uh multiple people in restocking no it doesn't it just covers our shift uh ronnie yeah ronnie here needs to be adjusted to monday shift now and she will be adjusted to the Monday shift. And that's exactly what we wanted. I mean, I mean, <clears throat> that that's that's exactly what we wanted. So at least now we have a little bit of, uh, you know, this is, it's not perfect, right? But at least we have uh, it done. Like we have a full working cycle of a freaking uh, of restocking. Mitchell. Mitchell doesn't need restocking. He has seven points. He's fine. Ronnie has the day off, but she doesn't need to go on course. I mean, she could go on course, but she's not going to be going on course. There's no point of it. Jackson. Jackson is f well done with the restocking, so he's fine. Let's get spicy. Just got hired. All right. So let's move over to sales. Sales. All right. Sales. So sales. Anka. So let's actually go. Monday. Monday sales. Anka is the A shift. So she's going to be uh, a shift, you effing kid. A shift, not Anka in particular, I'm talking to myself. A shift, Jun Lee is going to be A shift, right? And then uh, Kayla is also A shift, right? And then uh, Lewis is A shift, which is A shift, we just got done, you know, doing. <laughs> Come on, man. A shift. Awesome. All right, so those people are on A shift. We're technically going to Tuesday. So any of those people can go on course if we need them to, which we're probably going to need them to. So Anka doesn't need to. All right, so that's fine. Jun Lee, I don't think, needs to either. No, Jun Lee doesn't need to go on uh, on course either. Kayla does need to go on course. So Kayla will go on course. And then Lewis doesn't need to go on course quite yet. So Kayla, Tuesday, course. There we go. All right. Awesome. What 
the hell do we have going on here? So these are this is B shift. So B shift, as you can see, we have our daily manager coming in on B shift who gets paid twenty six dollars an hour, which is not too bad. B shift, we have Destiny, we have Ishmael, um, which is fine, and then I think that's it. I think those two are the only ones that come in on B shift. So we need more salespeople. That is what it is. I know we can take it from someone else, but uh, we're not going to be taking anything from anybody right now. So there we go. All right, uh, marketing. I guess we could look at marketing. Like honestly, marketing can go suck up. Not one really. <laughs> uh, Nisi Williams uh, is good on marketing, and she's actually pretty good to to go from. Actually, she could go to other things, right? We could put her on sales. You know what? I think I might put her on sales. Kind of rotate her to sales, because sales does help us out. I think better than marketing. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna put Nisi Williams on sales. So we're gonna rotate her to sales. She will upgrade there. She's gonna be on B shift, which is good because that's what we needed. And then we're not gonna have anyone coming for marketing for tomorrow. Uh, so yeah, if we take a look now, Nisi Williams is on B shift sales. So that's awesome. B shift. That helps us out in the in the in the B shift. So now we just need one more salesperson to kind of round us out uh, wholly there. So that's good. I'm happy about that. I know this has been taking a long time. It's just part of the game right now. Uh, it's not going to be like this permanently. Just hopefully you guys know that. Um, it's just because the scheduling right now, we're just trying to get our feet underneath us. And, and so be it, right? Uh, and then we got to bring in some new stuff, right? We got to bring in some new stuff. So the new stuff is going to be, yeah, stuff we've never had before, like, active wear stuff like we had the shorts right we brought in the shorts i don't even know which one we brought in this one maybe oh my god no these ones i yeah yeah i don't even know i'll have to re-look at that but swim trunks like swim trunks we haven't had before these are something i kind of want to get spicy with uh so let's go ahead and bring in boom 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 and you know what i kind of like this one boom i just like the color scheme on that it looks like a flag of some of something i recognize uh 10 10 we'll just do 10 so this is our first time bringing in swim trunks so what do you need with swim trunks obviously you need like flip-flops right i don't know casual do we have is yeah flip-flops yeah i guess casual what about stylish stylish casual is there any style is there any stylish casual or is it all the fashionable i mean there's a little bit of street life. i didn't even notice this street life uh stylish shoes but most of them are all the fashionable Okay, um, active wear. Any casual active wear? Is it just active wear? Sports or sports? Yeah, so it's all sports stuff. Okay, so the casual is going to be flip flops. Now we have flip flops, right? And we have slides, I guess is what the kids call it these days, or the hipsters, or the, you know, the cool kids. Um, I'm going to do two of each. I'm going to go bring in the slides. I never really called them slides, I've always called them flip flops, but I never understood the slides thing. That was something like, that was like, in high school people called them i was like aren't they flip-flops like there was one time where we called them thongs but why the hell did is that like an american thing <laughs> like are, are we the only ones is like to call flip-flops like back in the early 2000s and like the late 90s and hell even throughout the 90s we would at least our area where we live i don't know if this is like a western thing like west coast thing maybe even on the east coast they said it but we used to call flip-flops thongs. Hey, hey, you got your thongs? Of course we don't. Of course I don't do that anymore, but <laughs> I mean, go get your thongs, right? That was a thing. Like, I know that's a woman's undergarment, but like, believe me, I sold hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thongs in my lifetime. But I'm just saying is, is why did we do that? Like, why, why did we call them that? Now we, I mean, what would you rather call them? Would you rather call them slides or would you rather call them thongs now? Honestly, I'm going to go back on my word and be like, I I'd rather call them thongs. But anyway, that's like a Siskiyou song that we don't need to get into. All right, so there we go. Um, pretty good day. Wow, $83,000. Really good day. Uh, let's go to the store. Yeah, let's go to the store. I'm very happy. This place is like easy to work with. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with how this is going. I, I can't, like, I can't not, like, I, I love the boutique look. I mean, I've said it multiple times, but I'm digging it, dude. I'm absolutely digging it. What I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to close that queue and I'm going to open up this queue. So it's not weird. Now, wait, we do have two registers coming in today, right? So never mind. What I just did was pointless. All right. We're going to unpack very, very quickly. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Like, this storage room is so big. 
There we go. Say so 272 items. That's fine. We're going to have uh, new swimsuits. And then we're going to go around the store and again do what we were doing in the last day, which is check prices, check items that were sold, and so forth. I know it's early in the day and it's like you can't really check those items if they, you know, if it's like freaking an hour into the store. Nobody has bought it. That's not an issue. I know that, but anything that hasn't been fixed as far as like price adjustment wise, because you could tell that we haven't adjusted prices in certain items. Um, which I kind of just threw in here, right, for the time being, and then I said I was going to go back and do that. So, yeah, like these pants, these pants are selling, but no one has, we haven't adjusted the prices on them. Hey, can you help me? But they're selling, so I'm not going to mess with them. Things that aren't selling, that I know aren't selling, I will fix the prices if the prices have not been adjusted. So there we go. This is looking pretty good. So there's Nisi Williams, her first day on sales. Good job, Nisi. Hey. Um, probably could do, oh, well, I'm going to have to do work area today, too, so, yeah. That's a whole nother thing. Let's go ahead and bring in some swimming trunks, a baby. Uh, and I kind of want to switch it up this time. Like, yeah, I, I do. I do. I do want to switch it up. Like, maybe have the swimming trunks over here, like on this wall. Maybe. Multiple. I don't know. I just want to kind of switch it up a bit. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I don't want to switch it up. I'm just not a creative person. And I, I, could, I, I take full responsibility of that. 100%. There we go. All right, so there, we'll just add the swimming trunks now. Where are they? There we go. Boom, 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 and a, a boom. Now I think, no, yeah, I didn't make this into the minimum storage. Yeah, I did make this into the minimum storage. I don't think I did the price adjustments on the shorts, and I'm gonna do that real quick with the shorts and the uh, swim trunks here. Come on, come on, come on. So we have one, two. Yeah, we do have two registers in today, which is good. And two salespersons. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and do boom, boom, boom. These are going to be adjusted to about $19. I'm not going to do $19.99. That's only for special occasions. These ones are going to be adjusted to $15. Because they are a little bit of a lower lower, uh, lower tier than the, the ones we just worked with there. These will be adjusted to $19 as well. Now, someone already did pick up the, the swimming trunks, as you just saw. Someone did pick up the swimming trunks, which is awesome. That's what we wanted. Uh, these have not been adjusted. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to go... Um, okay, $9.32. We're going to make these shorts... $33. Actually, you know what? Let's just make them $32. let us just make them the same all around. $32. No minimum storage. Uh, no. I say no to that. There is a minimum storage, and there's a minimum storage on this as well. Can't believe I forgot the minimum storage on the shorts. That's fine. There we go. And then $32 as well. So every short here, I know they're a little bit different, but they'll be $32. It's fine. And then five. Right? Boom, boom, boom. Okay, cool. So that's good. Then we can kind of get the casual stuff up and rolling, like the um, the shoes, the thongs, I guess you could say. <laughs> right? Um, again, I would like to do something different, but... Right. Spare two seconds. Oh, well. Thanks. Okay, so Thank my thought process behind this is very simple. I don't see myself kind of expanding the store much anymore. So let's see. Let's. I. It looks weird, right? Let's see how weird it really looks. I gotta try it, dude. I gotta try it. So. Wait, three? Oh god, damn it! I, I I hate it already. No, no, no! I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Get rid of it. It only does three. Should have saw that, you know, putting it down where you know there's three rows. Um, all right, uh, let's see here. Well, this is actually not too bad, I guess, for flip-flops, maybe. Um, it's actually terrible. Let's see. This? That looks kind of cool. I don't know why we haven't used that before. But it kind of throws off the, uh, the, the rest of the, what, what's that word called? Feng shui? Feng shui? I think that's what it is. Um, we could go simple. No, we'll just keep it how it is. We'll keep it how it is. We'll go right here. Put it right next to the uh, active wear, and then we'll add these uh, thongs or slides here. All right, so we'll go these, 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 and uh, these, and that should be good. 
seven of each uh well of minimum storage seven of each hello nisi uh don't you have something to do other than stare at the back of my head maybe i don't know possibly <laughs> possibly i i don't know uh minimal storage here is a little bit funky i do have to say so this is going to be two uh four six eight ten so we need to actually adjust that to ten so that we have everything at least on a full scale here so that the, these walls are are um you know they're full uh there actually is need to be sorry there needs to be uh price adjustments throughout here as well i think that's gonna be big so there we go and then there we go as well all right so it looks like i did adjust the prices for the blue ones maybe purple ones not so much so 24 to, uh, to yeah okay that 45 uh, so like 99 dollars 99 dollars for the purples and 99 dollars for the greens hey, have a minute and then these shoes looks like we kind of already adjusted the prices but we've only sold one what the hell did i just do let's you know what hang on time out what, what was the price for that time out time hey, out got a second 35 88 35 88 uh we'll do 35 60 70 uh this is gonna be a freaking killer 85 maybe 85 dollars for that and we'll see how that goes 85 dollars for that too as well there we go and we'll see how that rolls okay uh do we have anything over here like what what the hell's going on over here oh the reds oh the reds but the reds didn't have a minimum storage i see i see i see okay so i gotta remember red shoes red active shoes all right another thing we could actually bring in is more stylish uh what the hell do i have casuals over here is this what this is what is here casual shoes yeah okay we're gonna move that we're gonna see if we can slide that in right here oh baby we can and that's kind of like the i guess the crocs uh not really the crocs like the, the slip-on shoes in a way i i guess hi we can expand the silo shoes a lot more we probably will do that because there is a increase of celebrity activity going on here like we know so we will do that okay cool uh how's the pants like how are the pant game going on pants uh 36 80 look 34 dollars 34 dollars 34 dollars 12 24 36 36 dollars oh um uh oh this is tough this is tough this is tough let's do 70 50 50 dollars hey and then we'll go 34 dollars there we go and then here we will do 36 kind of just like put down the prices just a tidbit right not too much but something that maybe give them a nice attraction to it and then we'll go 50 dollars here and then we'll go 34 34 34 dollars here as well there we go good all right so the pants have been taken care of for the most part honestly we could bring in more pants right that's that would be nice these are fine sold yesterday sold yesterday oh we can actually see sold yesterday i see i see good 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 excuse me um mm, thanks excuse me so the swim trunks look at the swim trunks they're actually going right they're actually falling out here which is kind of cool swim trunks are working um other than that like oh so there's a little bit of empty rack there how are these selling so zero today one yesterday sold eight today that's awesome uh sold zero today and sold sold zero today so 32 dollars for that seems to be a good hit price um so let's actually lower these cali sweaters down i know they're different but uh, if those are selling for $32, maybe these can sell for $32 as well. There we go. And then $32. I mean, it is like we're in the middle of November here. So like get it going, right? These sold today, sold yesterday, sold today, sold today. 8, 16, 24. We are below the Mendoza line. Let's do $22 here. $22 as well. By the way minimum storage on these bad boys yes good good call good call got a second there we go all right so that should do a little bit of wonders there how are these doing these minecraft shirts sold today three yesterday or one today five yesterday uh, they're doing okay i guess yeah these bad boys i just can't i can't keep in stock <laughs> the freaking flannels dude the flannels just sell which is good which also could indicate that we are selling them for a little bit too cheap. But, uh, bite me. 
That's all I gotta say about that. $44 for this. Lower that down a little bit. Those have been selling. That's good. Uh, $44. Oh, God, no. Uh, sold five yesterday. That's actually pretty good. Let's not touch that. Sold three yesterday. That's good. Let's not touch that either. This. $44. Uh, like $47. $47, and then this, drop it down to like $34. That is a little controversial, yes, but, you know, we got to get spicy with it at some point, right? So there we go. Okay. All right, so I think this store is actually doing pretty good. Uh, one thing that we need to do is uh, kind of a work area. So Ishmael, Ishmael work area. If I were to have you here in the evening time, Ishmael, your skills are going to be added over here to the work area for there and then here as well that is your area your secondary area will be thanks your secondary area will be this all the way up and down now for salespeople, this is bad I, I can see the bad right i can see the bad stuff in it but it just needs to happen right now i'm not saying that's a permanent work area for these folks but it just needs to happen right now uh this is kind of interesting right now that we're in the evening time we have this uh this register problem but like it's okay it's okay that we have two registers they're not filled in lines just because you have registers doesn't mean they need to be like packed full of freaking people dude it's okay it's okay to have them empty for a little bit it's okay to maybe serve one customer at a time it's fine it's a price that i'm willing to sell in order for people to have a nice pleasant transition from clothing in hand to bag to get the hell home right that's a i'm fine with that transition i personally myself love that transition in real life so if there's no lines and someone there, someone's there to help me out you're golden pony boy so there we go we actually made a lot of money today twenty three thousand dollars probably gonna be like 22 or so by the time we get back to the office let's go ahead and check it out together yeah twenty two thousand dollars there it is a big big win for all of us uh but look we have people in here that we need to do javon blair wow we actually have a lot of people here sales director oh this is great sales director this is gonna be good for our sales team we need a salesperson right this guy's so good he's so good um, regardless, whatever, man, you, you're getting hired. It is what it is. You're probably going to be, be expensive, but you could be an HQ employee at some point too, as well. So let's go ahead and hire you, my man. Thank you so much. Get hired, Javon. Uh, he's going to go straight to sales, probably. Yeah, straight to sales. All right, so he's done there. We have a, an additional, <clears throat> excuse me, an additional salesperson. Uh, this, this is kind of interesting here what else do we need we need a restocker he can do a little bit of everything so i'm fine with that as well there we go can't do anything for a sale so he's gonna be a restocker what is this guy's name devon or something what is your name oh deshaun deshaun so deshaun's actually gonna be a restocker so let's go ahead and remember that so deshaun our restocker that's fine and then this guy probably another restocker if we can get it out of him here I would like that. No, but a salesperson. We do have a salesperson who has no experience in pants and shoes. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, we'll hire you. There we go. And there we are. Almost. There we go. All right, so Rylan, Deshaun, and whoever the hell the first guy was, which I totally forgot his name, has been hired. So now we are starting to make some big, big moves here. Uh, Kayla, I don't remember if I took you on course. I think I did. Uh, I did not. Thank you, Kayla. Uh, what are you on? I don't know. We're going to have to dive into that a little bit more. So Alexander, she is done. She is finally a full-fledged cash register person or cashier. That's incredible. Uh, Ishmael. Ishmael needs to go on course uh, very, very soon. There we go. Uh, Kadisha. Did we send Kadisha on? I don't remember if we do. No, we do not or did not, but she needs to go. Kayla. Did she go? Kayla did go. So there we go. Go ahead and give her a couple sales points there. Jacqueline. How did Jacqueline do? She did not go on anything as well. Okay. Uh, Shalom. Shalom. He needs to go as well. All right. So there we go. Let's go ahead and do our scheduling here now for register people. Uh, Wednesday. So this is the Monday shift. This is shift A. Shift A doesn't have much people on it. Now, does it? Why Why is that, I wonder? Oh, because we haven't put people on that on that yet. That's fine. Um, Javon, he's a very good regi or register person, but <clears throat> he's also a good restocker. But he's also a really good salesperson. Javon is going to be a salesperson. We're switching him to sales. 
Deshaun is going to be a restocker. Switch him to restocker. And then Rylan is, he has his trading all the way up for sales. So he's kind of like, he's kind of ready for sales. He's going to go to sales. He might switch out with someone at sales and someone might come back into a different shift. So there we go. Okay, so let's actually take a look at sales first. So on sales, we have the AM shift and the PM shift already set out. Then we have these two boneheads. Um, so if anyone were to come out of the A shift, let's see. We need somebody in restocking. Can anybody here do restocking? So Lewis, can you do restocking? He can. Um, I might switch Lewis to restocking. So we're going to switch Lewis to restocking, which then means that one of these guys needs to pick up the A shift evening shift or A shift evening shift. Yeah. So A shift evening shift. And there we go. And then do that, do that, and do that. Boom. Done. Anybody else? Anybody else uh, on here? So Lewis is on restocking. We don't need to worry about that. And then um, anybody else here that can do like register? I mean, generally you can go back to marketing, technically. Uh, Anka's fine where she's at. Junli could go back to marketing. He could go back to marketing. But I already made his work schedule, so I'm not really keen on that. Or his work area. So Rylan, what can Rylan do other than sales? He's very, like, he can jump on sales. What Rylan can do, actually, is maybe jump on the B shift. So if you have a B shift like Ishmael, who can do register or restocking, which is great. Ishmael is going to be uh, relocated to probably restocking. So restocking for oh yeah restocking for ishmael so there we go then we just need the b, b shift evening shift which he was even working the wrong evening shift anyways he was working an hour less um we're gonna need to sw switch b shift um b shift rylan b shift rylan so b shift rylan tuesdays and that will be that boom 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 and boom awesome there we go that should be situated in all uh let's go to restocking real quick restocking is okay so deshaun yeah deshaun's perfect so deshaun will be doing the a shift evening shift for um restocking that was not evening shift gosh darn it oh well a shift yes a shift there we go there we go okay so here we go. We got two restockers coming in on the A shift. We still need more restockers for the B shift. But other than that, it's looking pretty good. Uh, Ishmael. How are you doing, bud? You're doing fine. Okay, that's fine. I know I can send people on course, but right now I need to wrap up the episode because it's getting way out of hand uh, once again. So, yeah. So Alexander, give me a raise. And John Lee, give me a raise. So Alexander and John Lee need to be uh, getting a raise here. Alexander, Alexander. There we go. Alexander. Come on, baby. Alexander. There we go. She's happy with that. And then go ahead and get Jun Lee as well. Also, so there we go. Renegotiate Jun Lee and give him the big baddie here. Oh, guess not big baddie. Wow. Okay. A few bucks more. Are you kidding me, Jun? There we go. All right. Awesome. That is all done. That is all set. Let's go ahead and get our minimum storage in here today. Uh, I need to get the red shoes in, by the way. So we're going to go minimum storage. Not yet. We're going to go menswear, shoes, casuals, actually sports, right? And then we need like those red shoes. Yes, red shoes and bring in about 10 of them as well. There we go. Cool. All right. So now we can do the minimum storage. All right. 271 articles, uh, $4,800 going our way. Bam, $17,000 that we have still at the store, which is incredible. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and finish this off. Boom, final payments. Bam, and $90,000. Holy hell, we actually broke it. I did not think we were going to break it, but we actually broke it. Oh, my God. Um, thank you guys for stopping by. It's been a pleasure to be with you today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please make sure to hit that like. I think next episode is like $100,000. So here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, it's awesome. It's been a pleasure. And I will see you in the next video, wherever that may be. Do take care.